Hey, crew, how are you? Welcome back to another day of Animal Crossing New Leaf. What is up, guys? I hope all of you are having a great Tuesday. I think it's Tuesday, right? Yeah, it is Tuesday. Fuck yeah! Um, so what's going on in town today? Well, according to Isabel, nothing is going on in town. So it looks like we will be checking up on all of our flowers. We'll go around and talk to our villagers. And as some of you guys pointed first of all, holy crap, we got so many new flowers today. We got more pink roses in. It looks like we got red ones that grew in. Um, anything down here? We got some more red roses. More red roses. And I think that is it. Wow. That was actually quite the uh, assortment of flowers. Let me toss down these two pink roses so we can finish off Nana's rose bed. And let's see what Nana has to say to us today. Hey, Nana. Uh, do you remember that time capsule I had you, Barry? Uh, I think it'd be fun to open it now. Would you please go dig it up and bring it to me, little guy? I can't wait to see what's inside, Popo. Uh, yeah, if I can remember where I buried it. I think I buried it up here behind some of the flowers. It might be further up, but I did... Man, where did I put that? I put it somewhere that I wouldn't dig it up. But at the same time, I think that might have been a mistake because now I don't know where it is. Um, is it back here for some reason? <sighs> Nana, I have no idea where you buried it. Okay, that's a pitfall seed. I'm almost positive that's a pitfall seed. I'm actually 100% positive that that is a pitfall seed. So where the heck did I bury that? Oh, God, we're screwed. Wait, is that it? No. What the heck did I see? I th really thought I saw a dig spot, but I guess I didn't? Okay. I swear I did it back here. Oh, there it is. It's behind this flower. Boop. There we go. I was going to say. I knew I dug it up against the fence. Or buried it up against the fence. Not dug it. I don't know if dug it is ever the right term. Uh, hey, there you go. Hey, Nana. Hello again, little guy. Oh, the weather's great today. Hmm, lots of fresh air, Popo. So how can I help you? Time capsule time. Here you go. I hope you enjoy your time capsule. Oh, thank you. Ah, oh, let's open it and take a look. Oh, my captain's jacket, such a favorite of mine. Oh, there's a letter too. Ah, uh, this is my favorite outfit. So, I wear it on the days when I'm feeling blue and need some cheering up. I always put a smile on my face. Just ask Rec. How you feeling, Nana? Aw. I don't think I've ever seen her wear that though. It's fine to look back on that, what I wrote. It's kind of embarrassing. Oh, right, uh, let me thank you for the gift. Please accept my captain's jacket. Oh, she gave it to me. Well, that's nice of her. Thank you, I hope that you help me again sometime. Anytime, Nana. I always have time to help you out. Well, let's try on our new captain's jacket and see how it looks. Ooh, we are fancy with our rainbow pants. Okay, we look stupid. Either way, we're trying our best. Uh, let's toss these flowers down because I really don't need any more roses right now. And we'll put that down as well. Okay, cool. And is there anyone in town that wants to say hello today? It doesn't look like it. Nobody's out and about. Where is everybody? My town rolls up shop at 7 o'clock, it seems. <gasps> Bangle's at home. We can see Bangle. It's been a little while since we said hi to her. Same with Mira. I feel bad. We haven't been visiting Mira as much. It's just there's so many villagers that I want to talk to and want to get to know. I just can't always keep up with them. Hey, Bangle. Oh, hey, welcome, Purr. Uh, make yourself at home, Rec. What do you want to talk about? Uh, let's talk. So Nana really wanted something from me, and I totally spaced out about it. I've got it right here, but now I'm too busy to take it over to her. Could you do it for me? Sure. I just saw Nana, but I guess I can go again. Nana is just the talk of the town today. Thanks a lot. Uh, make sure that you get it done today. Sure. I will get it done right now. You know, to be honest, I think I'm going to change out of these pants. As fancy as they are... I think I'm going to go back to my cuffed pants. Do I have those on me? What are these? Cuffed pants. Eh, it'll work. Look like a, a styling pilot. Only the fanciest of pilots are allowed to rule, you listen. Alright, um, hey Nana. I have a gift for you. Or a present, or something that you needed. Wow, it's already seven. Time flies. Uh, so what's on your mind? Delivery. Oh, what could it be? Whatever that is. Hope you like it. There you go. Please don't make me guess what it is for a prize. Come to think of it, I did ask Bengal to find something for me. Yay, okay, let's open it. Okay, thank God it's not a thing. Oh, it's a 
future tank? Oh, that's adorable. Oh, it looks great. I actually really like that. Oh, thank you. It's nice getting compliments like that. Oh, that's right. Uh, I like to thank you by giving you something. Uh, how about what I was just wearing? So we got the pink polka dot shirt. Oh, it's the bubblegum tea. All right. Um, I mean, I guess I could wear it for a little bit, right? It won't look that bad. Hey, look at us being all bubblegum and stuff. It smells like bananas. Hmm, I wonder why. Okay, wow. <laughs> I love when the rock that's fake is extremely obvious. I'd like to let you guys know, we're almost at 100 days of doing this, and I still, still have yet to get a uh, four-leaf clover. It's the cat machine. Cool. And plus two coupons. Nice, so we might be able to pick up something today if we wanted anything from the campsite. I'm not sure what I did to get that, but I'll take it all the same. Um, oh, it's so sad to see Gail's house gone. I'll clean up those paths later once we get a new uh, person in our town. Just in case they do go back right there, then I won't even have to change anything. Oh, so what can I do for you? How are you, Stitches? Uh, I've been all upset with catching ocean fish recently. Uh, I mean, that's simple enough. I can do it. I can do an ocean fish. That's easy. Sure. Oh, you're the best. Thanks, Yawn. <laughs> yeah, I forgot I changed his catchphrase to Yawn. So he's always sleepy. I officially gave stitches. Uh, what is that thing that makes you sleep all the time? There's a sickness that you can get. They joke around and say the only way to get it is through kissing, but I don't think that's true. Um, oh, it starts with an M. It's going to bug me. If you know what it is in the comment section, leave it down below. But it's the sickness that makes you really tired all the time. Uh, I'm going to sit here and I'm going to try to think of it, and it's all I'm going to think about for the rest of the video. Mm, boop. Nope. Still no four-leaf clover. Eh, whatever. Not a big deal. All right, so we need an ocean fish. I don't even have a fishing rod on me, do I? Well, I mean, I, I have it. I just don't know where it is. There it is. Hold this. Hold this for me. All right, let's try to find a clownfish. I feel like Stitches would like a clownfish or a sea bass. <laughs> Pretty sure this is a sea bass, but just in case it's not, we will check. I'm almost 99% sure. Are, are you fucking kidding me? It literally was right in front of your face, dude. Hello? Eat the hook. Thank you. Eat the hook. Fish. Eat the sea bass. Ah, oh, whatever. We'll give Stitches a sea bass. And just so you guys don't have to sit and watch me fish for 45 minutes to try to find a clownfish. Which I don't even know if clownfish are available at night. I hope they are. It'd be kind of weird if they weren't. Um, You know, I had a friend in high school who uh, had a saltwater aquarium. And he had a clownfish. And he also had a chocolate chip starfish. I thought it was really cool, but I don't know. It seemed like so much work for the saltwater tank that it wouldn't be worth it. But I don't know. He seemed to enjoy it. There you go. Have a fish. Oh, a sea bass is for me. It literally has sea in the name, like ocean. And he hooks us up with a piece of furniture. What is it going to be? It's a slide puzzle. What? You gave us a... Okay, whatever. You know, I wonder if you can customize the slide puzzle to have one of your patterns on it. I bet you can. That'd be kind of cool. And is there anything new going on in here today, Reese? Anyone bring something in? Oh, it's the astro clock. I need this. All right, 2682, you know, I will take it. Thank you, Mira, for cleaning up your astro set. I will talk to our good old friend Cyrus here, and we will get that colored into blue so that we can get that taken care of. A project, you say? I'll be to judge that. Let me see if you got anything that stands out to me. Hmm, so you got something good. Can I take a closer look? Sure. The Astro Clock. By the way, it does look like he can change the uh, slide puzzle. 289, 298 bells, sure. Uh, decide how you want the body color to look. We're going to go with the blue and black design once again. Blue and black. The body color gets the old blue and black design. Got it. All right, Squirt. Uh, go ahead with the project. Yes, please. Okay, then just hand over the item that you want to customize. So we will pick this up tomorrow, and that is another piece of the Astro set completed. Uh, and it will be in blue. Which, to be honest, the longer I have the Astro set, the more I'm kind of just like, eh... But we've been working on it so long that I at least want to get it finished before I scrap it and try something different. Um, 
I like getting the full furniture sets just because the completionist side of me is like that's what we need to do but then the other side of me is like you can do more customized stuff if you kind of just build a room the way that you think will look nice you know for a second I honestly thought this was a jacuzzi that would have been really cool oh look at the little pineapple drink Oh, so you're interested in a coconut juice. Uh, well, I suppose I left that I'm gonna go for five meow coupons. Uh, why is it always five, dude? That's such a cool item. And it looks like Pave is back in town today. Um, Pave is the NPC for Festival. And uh, he's really cool. This is Pave. Uh, we did go through his stuff last time. There wasn't anything that I wanted to get. So uh, yeah, we will enjoy Pave when he actually comes during his uh, Festival. So, uh, yeah, that kind of sucks. I wanted... That seems like such a waste of coupons, though, just for this one little juice. You know? Either way. I think it's a cool item. Maybe I'll get it. Let me see what my missions are. If we can get one Meow coupon, I think I'll get it. I'm addicted to little items like that. Um, dreams sharing initiative. Uh, okay, just share your dreams. Sweet. Okay, that's easy. Whoops, that's the wrong button. Uh, interior design initiative give your walls a fresh coat of paint or wallpaper better yet ask Sahara to redecorate your place for you and the bug boss initiative uh, go out there and catch 20 bugs okay so I don't know if Sahara's around oh Miranda just put down those flowers for us okay so we will first of all we're gonna switch back to this we will put away this We'll put that there, we'll put that there, we'll put that up there. Alright. And let's go down town and see. I wonder, does that require Sahara? Does it require Sahara to do it? I guess I could find out real quick. I'm sure I have wallpaper laying around that I can just toss up in one of the rooms. Do I have any in my inventory? No. Okay. Um, let's see. Do we have any wallpaper that I can just toss up? So it completes the events, or does it require me to use Sahara? Okay, there's the lattice. Now I'll put our other ones back on, and according to this... Okay, I guess we have to ask Sahara to do it, okay. I don't remember what day Sahara goes. I want to say it's Tuesdays, which today is Tuesday. Is there a Tuesday or Thursday? Stitches, God damn it, Stitches! Why are you here, dude? I love you, bud, but I got other stuff I need to take care of. You can't just barge into my house every day. Great to see you, Dr. R. Hey, bud. So I'll talk to him until, I uh, hope you don't mind me popping in and get tired of walking. I realized I was right in front of your house. I thought that I should at least say hello, yawn. Okay. So we're gonna keep talking to him until he gives us a, uh, an item, and then we will sneak out. I totally am mad dash. Someone dropped an unannounced like super panicked yawn yeah dude here here I brought you a classic clock as a present all right thank you stitches all right we're gonna sneak out bud huh are you heading out oh if that's the case I'll head out too thanks for today yawn no problem stitches I'm sorry I couldn't hang out with you longer dude but you were unexpected to say the least all right um, so I guess we're gonna go downtown and see what we have going on. We'll check out what the Nooks are selling and Abel Sisters, Gracie. There is a moth on one of my box lights and it is a very large moth. Maple, hey Maple. I'm afraid I'm gonna get attacked by this moth at any point. Hey Rec, uh, I guess we both had a sudden urge to buy something. So what can I do for you? How are you Maple? Doesn't it feel good to get outside for some fresh air? That is 100% true. Last night at like 11 o'clock at night, I walked down to the gas station um, by my house to get a bottle of Coca-Cola uh, sponsored. And uh, it was so nice out. I freaking love it, dude. It's like the nice weather in Wisconsin where the evenings are just super, super nice. Hey, happy little fertilizer. I will take it, my dude. Thank you for the fertilizer. I think that's day three of fertilizer for us. We will get our fortune cookie for the day as well. Hopefully we can get a new item. If you guys can believe it, we are 95 days deep into this and we uh, still don't have all the items. So that gives you an idea of how rare some of these are. They're not even rare, I'm just super unlucky. Hey, there's a fortune inside, let's see here. Hmm, he who stubs his toe to feeder there. <sighs> really? 
Another duplicate. I actually don't even think this is a duplicate. I think this is a losing ticket, which is even worse in my opinion. Well, no, because at least I'm, I have a chance of getting an item I don't have yet. But I'm pretty sure that I've gotten this before. One way or the other. Ah, let's see your number six. Oh, I'm sorry to say, but number six is not a winner. Please accept this office chair. <gasps> Yo, that'll be awesome. I want to do a, uh, I guess I could call it like my my work office, my streaming office in uh, in games. So that'll work perfect. That'll be the office chair that we can use. Okay. Hey, Timmy. So we have the lovely bed, which we already have. Um, what a weird assortment of items old board floor we don't need by the way someone was nice enough to point out to me that the way that Gracie's furniture sets go is they go by season so um, yeah each season she will have a different set so right now we are in the Gracie set so uh, every day she will have different items of the Gracie collection and then in fall she'll switch same with December etc 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 I didn't read what this was I was so worried about talking about Gracie that I didn't see what it said uh, cityscape. Okay, no, we don't need that. We already have it. And I will pop into Gracie's to see if she has any clothes. Um, I don't have the money to afford any of her furniture, because it's so damn expensive. It's like 300k per piece of furniture. Um, and to be honest, I'm not a huge fan of the, uh, furniture sets for her personal collection. Uh, that... Why does nothing have sleeves? Can someone explain that to me? Why is Gracie all about sleeveless stuff? I get it's summer, so maybe that's what it is. A summer style. It's lighter, you know, no sleeves, more of a tank top feel, but it's annoying, dude. I, I'm, I'm not a fan of the tank tops. I'm not a fan of tank tops in real life or in game, because I'm a scrawny kid, you know. Tank tops make me look like I'm sickly. I'm too pale for that stuff. Okay, well, whatever. Thanks anyways. Appreciate you not having anything for me. Maybe the Able Sisters. Maybe my girls won't let me down today. Survey says... Hey, Mabel. Hey, Sable. Let's see. We got a bullet t-shirt that we had yesterday. A... I ain't wearing that. And a blue and white polka dot. Okay. You know that blue and white polka dot would be cute on some villagers, but I can't think of one off the top of my head that would look good in my town with it. Hey, Rack, I didn't know that you were here. Hey. And... What is this? I, I'm not interested in buying it, but what is it supposed to be? A milkmaid hat? What the hell is a milkmaid hat? I don't even know what that is. Eh, whatever. Not a big deal. I will catch you later, La Bella. La Bella. Okay. Well, I don't feel like being a milkmaid today, so we're gonna pass a ruski on that. But I will go update the dream suit so we can get our one more ticket. And then I think we will uh, check out Nook's Homes. And then I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna buy that coconut juice for the house because it's fancy. And you know, it's one of those ambient items that I like so much. I appreciate you taking time for the dream suite. Yo, no problem, fam. By the way, guys, remember, if you ever would like to visit the town, you can always just simply click the description down below, and you will find the dream address in there. All you do is you come in here, you go into that bed on the right, and she'll ask you where what you want to do. You say that you have the code for the town you want to visit, type that in, and you will be able to visit Ulyssen as well. Um, if you visit the town, you do have a chance of a villager in my town talking about you, saying that they saw you in their dream, or whatever it was. So, uh, yeah, it's a cool little way. Remember, I only do play the game on video, so if any villagers are going to talk about you, it will happen on video. It won't happen off of that. So, let's hop into the bed, though. Um, I will be doing... God, I should have been doing it by now, but it's just so hard with my scheduling. I do want to have days where we go and check out other people's dream suites. Um, so you guys can see other people's towns, not just mine, obviously. But uh, we will do that at some point. Maybe we'll start doing that where, like, every... Sunday video or every Monday video would be a dream suite video. Record states that the number has been experienced in the dream. Yulson is 73. Cool. So 73 people have visited Yulson so far. Neato. It's not bad. It's a little less than a villa, uh, visit a day. But if you think about it, there was the days before we had the dream suite. So it's probably about one person visits Yulison a day on average. So pretty good. Pretty good.
And what's up, Nook? Okay. Anything cool that I think would make our house look better? Not really. The one is kind of like an old, an old style look, and then the metal pathway. I think it's all kind of little in over my head. But we can go get the meow coupon, which of course we need because if we grab that meow coupon, we can go and get our coconut juice, which I have been waiting a long time for. Not really, but some people may believe that. Okay. So you can sneak on down here. I hope there's a new event coming up soon. I feel like it's been forever since we had an event in town. Um, did these grow yet? Oh, we got pink. Yeah. Give me those pink roses. Um, okay. Why did I come down here? Meow coupon. That's what it was. Boop. Thank you. Hey, welcome. This is your new cat machine. Got it. Give me your coupon. I'm a coupon. Hey, thank you for using the local cat machine. No problem. By the way, uh, cat machine coupons can be exchanged for $3,000. So, Rec, I've heard that some people are calling you Dr. R. It's pretty cool. Can I call you that too? Sure. I guess suddenly I'm a doctor. Everybody keeps calling me Dr. R for some reason. Um, dang it, now I lost my train of thought. Oh, the meow, meow coupons can be exchanged for 3,000 uh, bells each. So if you think about it, this coconut that I'm about to buy for five meow coupons is a total cost of 15,000 bells. A little excessive, if I do say so myself, but whatever. It's a specialty item that you can That's me being grouchy. I'm gonna need a huge table to put all my food. All my sushi that I've bought, in, which by the way, I have two things of sushi in my fridge right now but I had Chipotle already and I already had one roll of it. So like, I feel like I'm gonna explode and vomit if I by chance eat another before bed. So I'm probably gonna wait on those. Um, there's something I wanted to do. I don't remember what it was now. Mm, 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 I don't remember. Eh, whatever. Could not have been that important if I'm being real with you. So let's see. Um, So what I think we're gonna do is I'm probably gonna end up turning this back room I'm gonna get rid of all the lovely set that I have. I'm just gonna scrap it all. Um, and we're gonna make this into an office. So we will add the desk chair, which if I can find that classic clock, office chair, here we go. Uh, that is not a very comfortable looking chair. That looks like a, like a doctor's chair, kind of. I don't know if you guys agree with me, but to me it looks like a doctor's chair. And then of course we do have our coconut juice, beautiful. God, I love that item. Uh, what else? Classic clock. Oh, that's like a, a grandfather clock. Okay. Interesting. Uh, that's what we got from Stitches, I believe. The slide puzzle. Okay. That's just a little slide puzzle. And what else? Anything else? This is the sushi container that I did get. Oh, looks so good. Sushi tray. Look at all this food, dude. Oh. I, I honestly think I should just have a room that's nothing but food covering the floor. Like, uh, the entrance for Roadhog, if he gets play of the game where he's asleep with, like, all the half-eaten food around him. That's how the room's gonna look. Okay. Um. There was something that I was thinking that I should do, and I can't remember it. Oh. Oh. I remember what it was. I needed to bury the fertilizer for today and water the flowers. Because we cannot forget that we are still breeding roses. All the roses must be bread. Bread and butter, you know? Dig a hole here. And we will toss in our fertilizer. And there we go. Okay, let's water everything. And then we can call it a day. Do I not have my... Where is my watering can? Thank you. Alright. So... Things that are coming to the channel. Um, I did try posting a Hearthstone video. Uh, I thought the video was pretty cool. It didn't go over very well. It didn't get a ton of views, but I kind of expected that, to be honest. Not gonna lie, I didn't post that video expecting anyone to watch it. <laughs> I kind of just was posting it because I knew that I could have been recording something else at the time of recording Hearthstone. And I was like, ugh, I gotta at least post a video so that I don't feel like I wasted my time entirely. Um, but if I keep enjoying it, I'll probably start making it, like, every once in a while. If I'm going to play, I may as well record it so you guys can watch. 
But the problem is I don't have a ton of cards right now in Hearthstone, so I'm kind of limited by what I can do. So, yeah, in the future, I'll probably have new Hearthstone decks. I'm going to play around with this Hunter one and see how high I can get in the ranks. Um, and see if maybe I can get, like, rank 5 or something, which would be pretty cool. Rank 5 is pretty good. Um, so, yeah, I'll probably work on that a little bit. Um, what other things are new? Uh, I'm waiting for... Well, I beat Borderlands 2. I started playing Borderlands, uh, the pre-sequel. And then... I am waiting for Stardew Valley to get its multiplayer. Um, I'm really hoping that comes along soon because Stardew Valley is a really, really fun game if you guys haven't played it yet. Um, it's kind of like a cross between Animal Crossing and Farmville. Or not Farmville, I'm sorry, Harvest Moon. Um, definitely check it out. It's an indie game. It's on Steam. And they are going to be doing multiplayer on it, which is pretty freaking cool. Um, and I love supporting the... Uh, the smaller games. I, I don't even want to say Stardew Valley is a small game because it's not. Um, so once that gets multiplayer, I'll probably start a new series on that as well. But if there's anything that you guys would like to see on the channel, um, let me know in the comment section down below. The only thing I will say, um, I know this isn't going to make sense to some of you guys, but like Zelda Breath of the Wild, I'm not able to do on the channel because uh, Nintendo's kind of weird about it. So I am kind of limited, but if there are games that you want to see, let me know and I'll see what I can do. Um, but yeah, I think that pretty much covers everything for today. So I want to thank you guys so much for joining me. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like down below. Subscribe if you're new. Uh, it'll give you an alert anytime a new video goes live. Uh, I post a new video every day at 11 a.m. Central Time. So there will always be a video for your viewing pleasure. But thank you guys so much for joining me. I will see you tomorrow, guys. Have a good day. Peace.